the Turners and their descendants, the Mancitids, followed by the Newcomans. Um, they owned all of Kotam, which was just sand dunes essentially. Uh, there was nothing else there, although it had been used as a as a port. So I suspect it's running boats up onto the beach. But during the 1800s, starting with Henry van Sittert, followed by his daughter, Mrs. Newcomen, and her husband, Arthur, and then he died in 1848, and continued by his son, Arthur Henry Turner Newcomen. They developed Cortum in a big, big way, and uh, we'll just uh, continue by having a look at that. The development of Cotham started quite early. This used to be called Redcar Road, it's now called Cotham Road. But it was made up of lots of little terraces. Just come along here. This is Cotham Church, built by Mrs. Newcomen. And this used to be Cotham Vicarage. And this is where the White House used to stand. Now, this is Cotham Road. This little terrace here is called Bansittet Terrace. This is where the British Legion used to stand. I don't think it's there anymore. And they've built a little house on the end of here, but they've taken a sign off this one and put it under there to sort of preserve it, as it were, or conserve it, which is very nice. And then further along here, somewhere, was a... Teresa Terrace, the wife of Mr. Van Sittert, and the mother of the lady who, who built Cotham Church. So this is the sign at the end of Van Sittert Terrace in Cotham Road. Um, when I went down to have a look again, it uh, they were building a house there, and uh, I couldn't get near to see if it was still there. After the Van Sittets of Kirtley them all. Oh, Newcomen's. This was Van Sittet Terrace, and the sign used to be on the end wall of this house here. But they've added this property and they've put the sign there. You can see it there. So the sign hasn't disappeared, it's still there. And this used to be the grounds of the British Legion, which is now gone. This is further along Cotton Road going towards Redcar. This is typical of the Newcomen architecture. They did like this Czech brick effect, red and white bricks. This may have been Teresa Terrace. So here you can see the railway coming into, the original railway coming into Red Car Central, which is there, which is now Craigton House. There you can see the new station. This is Lobster Road. Yeah. There's obviously a level crossing there. Probably unmarked. 
if I just zoom in. You see those little engine house there. Here, I'll just move it across. You will see railway terrace. And they were the little houses which were moved to Kirkleatham in 1871 when this railway closed. So this is caught on about 1865. Um, this is the Middlesbrough and Redcar Railway Company line which used to run almost to where is the Redcar clock is now and it was closed in 1871 when the new railway to the south was built, although it stayed open for a short while as a, a sort of good yard. <clears throat> when the railway closed, these were redundant, and they were dismantled brick by brick and taken to Kirklina, where they now stand rather, rather elegantly. And this is the uh, Courtham Convalescent Home, opened by Mrs. Teresa Newcomen and uh, John Postlethwaite, the uh, first vicar of Cotham Church. And this whole area, as you can see here, is uh, sand dunes. But this became the uh, sort of Cotham development. We'll look at that a little later on. They were originally built in 1847 and moved here in 1871. They do have a date stone on which says um, Yeah, the original date stone, 1847, is still on them. whole area of sand dunes was developed by the, the Newcomen family and all these streets along here are named after the Newcomens and the Newcomen Turner family of Kirkleatham Hall And the convalescent home was built just about here, which is where Court and Ball is now. Well, uh, looking at it, I'm not sure that that's going to last very long either. And the new promenade was built along here. And the boating lake is here somewhere. And this, of course, is where the, the town clock was built. So this is where the town clock is now. This road is now Cotton Road. You can see marks on it there. Cotton Windmill. And you can see at this time there's no uh, there's no promenade on the seafront. There's nothing facing the sea at all, really. Oh, there are odd cottages facing the sea. So this will all just have been sand to you. This is the Craigton House and the town clock where they are, where they are now. And school there, some baths.
This is Cotham Junction on the railway into Redcar. The original railway came along here, continued along there to Redcar Central. And we'll follow it in a minute. And in 1871, the railway was moved round here to the south of Kota. And this was still going when I was a kid. In fact, it was going until, I would think, the 1970s, 1980s, this railway, when they put a new railway in, which is further south still. So if we just follow this along. It came along here, along the side of the golf course. This is Majuba Road. Along the bottom of houses on Courtham High Street and you can still see it there's a sort of a cutting there and then along here so it came along the side of the golf course this is Majuba Road and along here you can still see the cutting where it used to be I did the Queen Street Queen Street used to be the railway line the railway came along what is now Queen Street this area here where the clock stands and this is now called Craigton House and you can see their central terrace. This used to be the central station here. Nothing to do with the Turner Newcomers really but an interesting photograph. But this was taken in 1956 and this is the site of Redcar Station the original Red Car Central Station and it became a sort of central arcade and in the early 1950s this cinema was built the central I can remember it opening the first film it showed was a film called The Robe with Victor Mature and Gene Simmons and uh, a very young Richard Burton where he became famous. Uh, what made it unique was it, it was the very first cinema in the area with, with widescreen cinema scope. Uh, there was another cinema here which was the Regent Cinema. So it was sort of almost back to back really. Um, and when this whole area was cleared the Regent Cinema was transferred to the new Pavilion Theatre on the beach where Court and Pier used to be. And this used to be a jeweller's, I remember. And this whole area is now what was called Craigton House. And of course this is Red Car Clock which was erected in 1913. Clarendon was the original station hotel and West Egg Road and West Terrace as they are now were the original station road and that little row of terraces that little railway terrace must have been here somewhere on the side of the railway because on the photograph you can see behind it the convalescent home and it's quite a long way away and it stood here which is where Court and Ball now stands, although how long it's going to stand for, I have no idea. And you can see that this whole area was sand dunes. There was, there was no promenade at all.
the, the railway closed in 1871 and that's when these little houses were moved to Kirkleatham village. So this lot was built after that. So when the railway closed in 1871, the, the Newcomins obviously built all this here. And these little cottages, the railway terrace, they'll have been in the way of all this. So in 1871, they were dismantled brick by brick and taken to Kirkleatham, where they stand now, rather nice. Although they still have the original date stone on the front, which was 1847, when the railway first came. So, if you've got money, <laughs> you can do things with it. And there are lots of Newcomen bits around here. This was the first Newcomen Terrace, this one here, which is labelled. It's very, very big, tall, three-storey places. And this is a continuation of it all the way around here, Newcomen Terrace, right to there. And then if you look at the names of the street, you will realise that they are named after the owner of Kirkleatham Estate at that time. The owner was a man called Arthur. Arthur Street, Henry, Henry Street, Turner, Turner Street, and what is now Station Road now, used to be called Newcomen Road. And that was his name, Arthur Henry Turner Newcomen. What you can do if you've got money, eh? And then lots of other ones. This one is Newcomen Grove, this one is Newcomen Court. Uh, West Terrace and West Egg Road used to be Station Road. This road, which is now Station Road, used to be Newcomen Road. So this was the first Newcomen Terrace, a sizeable terrace of about three floors, very tall. And then continued all the way around here, around the new promenade, all the way to Queen Street, which is here. This is all Newcomen Terrace. And connecting it with Queen Street were these roads here. One, two, three, four. And if you look very closely at them, you'll see that this is Arthur Street. Henry Street, Turner Street, this used to be called Newcomen Road. So it's Arthur Henry Turner Newcomen. And he was the son of Mrs. Teresa Newcomen and a cousin who was her husband, Arthur Newcomen. So amazing what you could do with money. Arthur Henry Turner Newcomen. And there are lots of other Newcomen bits. There's Newcomen Court, Newcomen Grove. Um, and then later on, the promenade was extended. This is the new promenade here, as they call it. And this is the boating lake, which when I was a kid used to have boats on, either rowing boats or if you were rich. I think it was two and sixpence in the 1950s. You could have a little motorboat and she chugged about on. Now all, that, all of that's gone. Although this whole area has recently been renovated. This is the new promenade. And this is the boating lake. No boats now, of course. This is where red car baths used to be. They were opened in the 1930s sometime. And in front of them at this point was an open air swimming baths, which in my time, had, be, had been closed and reopened as a roller skating rink. This is 
Ascona Bowl, which is where the uh, where the convalescent home used to sit. This is caught up in the 1930s, taken from the Britain from Above series of photographs. And you can see the red car bus, they must just have been opened. because I seem to remember a date stone on there saying they were built in the 1930s. Now gone of course. But they're building a brand new swimming baths on the site of what was Cotton School, or Sir William Turner School, which then became the library. <laughs> the library's been demolished, and in 2013 they seem to be building some new swimming baths there on Cotton Road. This is a... it was an open-air swimming pool, but then it was converted to a roller skating rink, and I can remember it being a roller skating rink in the late 1950s, early 1960s. And there was the Boating Lake. And this convalescent home, which wasn't de demolished until the 1960s, and caught a ball was built on that site. And this, of course, you can just see a little bit there of Newcomen Terrace. And this was the new promenade. Of course, this used to stand in grand, grand isolation on the sand dunes, in the middle of nowhere. And here, at the end of what was Newcomen Street, or Newcomen Road, is a cinema, which is called uh, the Regent Cinema. When I was a kid, it was called the New Pavilion, and it was a little theatre. A school used to have their prize giving days there. But leading out from there used to be a pier, caught some pier. It was never finished. Some ship went straight through it and smashed it to smithereens. Um, and I, whether the newcomers had anything to do with it or not, I don't know, but it was the it was the the Court and Pier Company and they were selling shares for five pounds a time. Five pounds was an absolute fortune in the 1890s. Um, so I suspect that uh, the Newcomens might have had a little dabble in that. But that was after Mrs. Theresa Newcomen had died. So it would, her, it would be her, her successor, Arthur Henry Turner Newcomen.